Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a different pattern. This time, it's going to be, let me see, one, two, three colors. Light blue, dark blue, and this one over here is like uh, gray, kind of. But the yarn is black, so it changed the color of the sea beads. So, sorry for that. So, I hope you guys have like... Um, you know dark colors no these ones are how do you call it translucent colors however you guys call it and you put um, the CBs on the thread or yarn in this case and then you can see the change of color so we're gonna begin by doing this just like that like that and we are going to begin putting up the C beads these are size 6 you guys can choose whichever size you guys like it I like to work with size 6 because it's easy for me to see how the pattern is going to look like it's very hard for me to see if I work with 11 or something it's smaller than this size so I hope you guys like it too just like that just put the CB behind the hook and grab it the loop and get through the loop like this like that this is the last one we're gonna get one more sequence up like this so we are gonna close the circle like that put the hook below the CB like that put a CB and top of the hook like so hold both of them like this so you put them um, yarn into the hook like this and get two of the loops out like that then do the same for the next one like that like this the next one like this next one you do the same thing over and over again after you close your circle you're going to do the same all over again until you finish whatever it is that you guys gonna do or going to make okay just like that put the hook below the CB move it into this side put the next one on top of that hold both of them and pull it through it like that pull the yarn through the two of the loops like this see one loop two loops put the CB on top of this one hold it like this and then put the yarn on top of the hook and then pull it once and twice like that Sometimes I do that at once, sometimes twice, so just like that. Let's get one more of the sequence. Mm. 
I'm gonna put it together so it didn't take me that long to put that sequence up two four six seven you guys do not have to count if you organize your CVs from the beginning properly you do not have to count every single sequence I do that because I need to make sure I put exactly that seven in each turn so that is the reason I do that but you guys do not need to count just like this I'm going to show you guys the pattern at the end of the video So you guys can see the image right there and uh, if you guys get confused how I explain it to you or looks like so it's gonna be easy for you guys to figure it out how I do this if you guys cannot see how am I doing it just because the journey is black and stuff you know so seven more Just like that And then we put one more sequence up. Like this. And do the same thing over and over again. Put the hook below the CB. Move it this way. Put one on top of it. Grab the drum with the hook. And pass it through the two loops. Like that. Seven more. So we put the hook below the CB like that. We move it, and we move the CB out of the way so we can put this one on top of it like that. Just like this.
let you guys see I try to explain to you what I'm doing and I'm getting confused so that is the reason I try not to talk much because like I said this is the same step over and over again it's like that so Okay, seven more. I think this pattern is very easy to make. The only reason I get so confused is because I cannot see what I'm doing. My eyes get so tired after the third turn, so I'm sorry for that. That is the reason I have to count every single turn. Hoping that I cannot get confused that way. If I have the right colors, the ones I like it, I like the, the darker blue, I like it red, and the gray, I like it black, and the light blue, I like it white. And then, if you guys do that, you guys are going to have a perfect um heart well in this case hearts because one go up and one is going down so that's how this pattern looks like so
it. And if you guys didn't understand how to, I make this pattern and you guys didn't understand how to, to make this pattern from the image that I'm going to give you guys at the end of this video. So, you guys let me know and I write it down how, how many CBs I put in each turn and which colors are the um, CBs, alright? So you guys gonna have the right amount of CBs and the right colors in case you guys get confused. have to make sure you get a whole thing if not it's better for you to go back and make sure you get it right because if it looks like you didn't get a whole thing you might not get the whole thing and the journal is going to be out of the way not exactly the way you want it have to be like that like that see if the loop didn't get loose that means you didn't uh, pass the the hook properly you get in between the loops and that's not good how to get through both loops that's how the hook supposed to be get through it no get stuck on one or something so just like this see like that like that you have to be able to go like this and tie it so that means you didn't put the um, hook in between the yarn
just like this. Put the hook below the CB. Put the CB out of the way and then put the new one on top of it. Hold both of them and pull the loop through the two little loops like this. One and two. Just like this. Then make sure you can go like this. If not, that means the hook um, grab other pieces of the journey that is not good because your work is going to look um, a bit bad not as good as um, the way you like it so I try not to do that but obviously you know my eyes get tired and then that might happen but you guys gonna do it perfectly so do not worry about it like this See, right there, it's stuck. So I have to go back and make sure I pull it like this. Now it's right. Now put in the next one, put it to the other side like this, and then get seven more. And just like that. You guys might know exactly the way to call um, each of the actions that I do when I'm making this stitch. I don't, so I'm sorry for that. I try to tell you guys what I'm doing, but I do not know how to explain to you properly. So I'm sorry for that. I'm just showing you how I make this one so hopefully you guys understand me this is the last one of the turn like this now we get the last sequence and pull down yarn through the two loops that you make right there like this one and two put the CB on top of the hook hold it and pull it like this one and then two like that So you repeat the same stitch over and over again. It's no difference. The only difference is that you change color of the sea beads. That's all. But the sea beads go in uh, in the same order, but you change the colors. That's all. 
each sequence is different. Just like that. You guys see when I show you the picture what I'm talking about. In case you guys cannot see nothing. I'm going to show you this pattern. Alright. I will put a picture at the end of the video. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. So that's it. That's the pattern right there. Like you guys see right here, this part over here is like a heart going down this way. And then you turn it, and then this side is another heart, but this one is going up. So this one is going up, and this one is going down. Like I said, you guys choose uh, the right colors, like uh, this one's over here, like the white one, this one. It's solid color. It's no translucent like this one. If you guys have uh, the proper colors, the colors that, for example, the light blue, could it be white, could it be black. The gray one could it be white, could it be black, you know, whichever colors you guys like it. I like it. The dark blue, I like it red. And the light blue, I like it white. And the gray, I like it black. So, showing off really really good the pattern this way you can actually see it but not that much so it looks like that I like it very cool don't you think so already then the pattern is going to look like that so I hope you guys like as much as I do well thank you very much for watching my videos and would you please not forget to comment rate and subscribe to my channels I really appreciate that so much.